Hey, this is journal page 364, which is lesson 15.4, uh, 15.4. And it starts off with determine whether the solids are similar. So we have to determine whether they're similar. Remember uh, that we'll be looking at proportions. Okay, so let's do number one right here. Number one. And I always like to put the smaller object on the top for our proportions. So we'll do this, and then an equals, and then this, and then an equals, and uh, this. Okay, because they give us three different dimensions here. So let's go along with our small first. We'll go, see they use radius for the large here, so we'll use radius for this small one, and the radius would be three. The radius up here for the larger one would be 5. So the radius over radius is 3 over 5. Height over height would be 4 over 12, small over big. And then slant height, 5 over slant height, 13. And we can do cross products here really quickly and see that this is 20 and this is 36. So that doesn't work out. This is 60. This is 52, so that definitely doesn't work out, okay? None of these are proportional, and so this is, no, it is not, these are not similar solids. So looking at number two here, just the way these worksheets usually go, I'm going to guess this one's a yes, but we got to try it. Again, they give us three proport, um, dimensions, so we'll go... Um, length, then width, and height. So length, 4 over length, 6. Width, 2 over width, 3. Height, 10 over height, 15. And I can do cross products to see 12, 12, 30, 30. So that works out. Or I could see all of these simplify to 2 over 3, 2 over 3, 2 over 3. So this is a yes because their dimensions are proportional, I guess I should put that in there. These are proportional, then that is yes, these are similar solids. Okay, and down on three and four, these are similar solids, it tells us so right here. So we know that their dimensions form uh, proportions, so we can find the missing dimensions. So I'm going to, there are three dimensions here, we've got side, we have height, and we have slant height. Here's the larger of the two, Here's the smaller, so I'll put these dimensions on top. And I'm going to go side, height, slant height. And I'm putting the height in the middle here because it's the one where we know the whole ratio. It's 3 over 4. Both of those dimensions are given to us. I'm going to put a little H up there so we remember that's the height. A little S up here because that's the side length. For the little one, we just have S because we don't know it. Over here, we have 6. And for the slant height, we have L over 5. Gives us 5 for the slant height. So now we have to find out what this is. Make sure your S looks like an S and not a 5. So I have 3 times. We know this forms a proportion because it tells us they're similar. So 3 times 6 is 18. S times 4 is 4S. Divide both sides by 4. And you're left with... S equals 18 divided by 4 is 4.5. And of course, that would be centimeters. Going over to work with the length or the slant height, we've got uh, 3 times 5 is 15. I'll put a little line right here. And L times 4 is 4L. Dividing both sides by 4 again. I get L equals 4 goes into goes 3 times with 3 left over and 3 fourths is the same as 0.75. And that is centimeters again. So the slant height is 3.75 centimeters. For number 4 here, same type of problem except there's only one missing dimension. So yay. Number 4. So we'll just have portion set up like that. Smaller one, we've got radius over the larger radius. Smaller height 
over the larger height. h times 3 is 3h. 1 times 1 1.5 is 1.5. Dividing both sides by 3, and we get h equals uh, 1.5 divided by 3 is going to be a half, so 0 0.5 centimeters is the missing height. Again, this one, these two problems, they are telling us they are similar, so we know these will form proportions. Find the surface area or volume of the shaded solid. So uh, the first one is surface area and the second one is volume. So for number five, now remember when we set up a proportion here, there's a little bit extra that we have to do, but we'll see that in a second. So let's go smaller over larger. So we've got uh, six over eight, six over eight is the side length. And we have the surface area of the small one. So that's 198 here. And that's gonna uh, be proportional to the surface area of the larger. I'll just put a big S for that. But remember, since we're going to area, we take this linear measure and we had to square it. So if I square that, I get 36 on the top and 64 on the bottom equals 198 over S. Well, 36 times S is 36 S. 36 times S is 36 S. And if memory... Uh, serves me well, 198 times 64 is 12,672. 12,672 for those of us that know our 64 times tables all the way up to 198. Divide both sides by 36 and we get S equals 352. Now we were finding the surface area, so that's going to be meters squared, okay, or square meters. See, 352 square meters. This problem is similar, except we're going with volume. So again, we'll start with a proportion. A small side over large side, and then it gives us the small volume over the large volume, but it's volume this time, not area. So we don't square it, we cube it. Okay, so three times three times three is 27 for the top. Eight times eight times eight is 512 for the bottom. 54 and V. 27 times V is 27 V and 512 times 54 is 27,648. 27,648. Dividing both sides by 27, we get V equals 1,024. And that will be millimeters cubed because it's volume. Millimeters cubed. Excellent.